Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I'm hoping that you all are doing great. So I'm so glad that you're here joining me today. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And again, thank you for joining me on this podcast. And so today I want us to talk about what Spotify's CEO Daniel X said about Prince Harry and Meghan and their Archetypes podcast which aired on Spotify. And well, after this, you're going to see are uh, you going to see whom the real grifter is. So, in June, someone at Spotify leaked the news to the Wall Street Journal saying that Spotify was parting ways with Prince Harry and Meghan. And what could have been a simple podcasting industry fluctuation story became something else entirely with Spotify's executive Bill Simons calling Harry and Meghan effing grifters. And I think you remember that time very well, right? When Bill Simons called Harry and Meghan effing grifters, that is after they parted ways with Harry and Meghan. And Spotify sources even lining up to talk so negatively about Prince Harry and Meghan in the trade papers. While on the other side, Harry and Meghan treated this Spotify mess as if it was some British media firestorm which they could just ignore. They barely pushed back on this story. Harry and Meghan stayed silent concerning this story. And I don't know if that was a good business move or a bad business move, but I believe Harry and Meghan know whatever uh, decisions they are making and they know if it's right for them or if it is wrong for them. So that was totally up to them. And well, four months later, the Spotify's CEO Daniel Ek was asked about what happened this week. And this is what Daniel Ek had to say. He admitted that some of Spotify's innovative ideas have not gone to plan and that Megan's multi-million pound Spotify deal was axed in June following a mutual decision between the streaming giant and actual audio that is Prince Harry and Megan's company. And you remember in June when this story came out the tabloids uh, the tabloids were running around saying how uh, sources had claimed that Harry and Meghan were not, were not producing enough content. It was very bad, like they spread so much lies about Harry and Meghan. And shedding new light on the decision not to renew Harry and Meghan's Spotify deal, the CEO told BBC that we thought new innovation was needed to happen here. We thought we, we can come in and offer a great experience that both makes consumers very happy and allows new creators new avenues. He even added that, and, and the truth of the matter is some of it has worked, some of it hasn't. We are learning from those and we are moving on and we wish all of the ones we didn't renew with the best of success they can have going forward. And these are the words of Spotify's CEO four months later. According to me, it was so unfair the way uh, the Spotify executive handled the whole situation. They let Harry and Meghan take the blame for their poor business decisions. And what Aek is saying right now is a little bit too late, right? Basically, what Daniel Eck was trying to say here is that there was poor management at Spotify. That was it. There was poor management at Spotify, but still, they made it look as though Harry and Meghan were the ones to blame. Spotify went too big with a lot of podcasts and they didn't actually plan for a, uh, for a bubble to burst. And after their bubble burst, they decided to blame Harry and Meghan because everyone else likes to do that. And how is it even okay? And I think for this CEO to come uh, forward right now and say what he's saying, he should have done this the moment that uh, the deal with Archetypes ended. And this whole situation just proves that Harry and Meghan were used as scapegoats for poor management at Spotify 
And doesn't that make Spotify the real grifters? Why did they use strategies normally employed by the racist tabloid press and the royal family? Why would they do that? Why would the executive at Spotify go ahead and call Harry and Meghan these nasty names when they know very well that the, the problem was on their side? And that incited a lot of hate on Harry and Meghan. And Daniel X's answer even further proves that the only reason why Spotify responded the way they did earlier on is because they were very upset that Harry and Meghan decided to leave and not because they were let go. They were very bitter about Harry and Meghan leaving and that is why Abil Simons responded the way he did. And I'm so glad right now that the truth always comes out. I'm so glad that the truth has finally come out and you can see who is to blame for this whole situation. But you know, the fact that Spotify let this lie run on for a very long time, they let, uh, they let Harry and Meghan be abused for so long for their own mistakes and they said nothing and then right now for them to pretend that they're, they're trying to correct the situation, it's not okay. They should have done this a very long time ago. Spotify opened a Pandora box that allowed Harry and Meghan to be dragged for their mismanagement on purpose. If they didn't do that on purpose, then they should have corrected this lie a very long time ago. But the fact that Harry and Meghan are still being abused until today just because of the lie that they put out there, that is Spotify put out there, is very much wrong. It proves further that they actually are okay with the way Harry and Meghan are being treated right now. But you know, I'm just so glad that Harry and Meghan uh, stopped their contract with that company because if these are the kinds of people whom Harry and Meghan were working with, then it's really bad. And all I, I do every day is wish Harry and Meghan the best and wish them uh, the very best of luck and all the success because that is what they deserve. They are nice people and they deserve all the good things in life. Well, that is my thought. I don't know what your opinion is on what Daniel Eck had to say. Let me know your thought on this. And then I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.